I'm your host, Queen Evelina, and this is QEV. Okay, so now that I don't let y'all get all up in my intern business, let's talk to you guys a little bit more about, you know, the actual business that we do. So now, Olu lied to y'all when he said that he loved me. <laughs> all my interns lied. You guys are such liars. You're always telling me that you love me in the first week. Oh, they love me <laughs> in the first week. What? They can't, they can't do it. I queen the first week. But we're going to see how long Olu actually lasts with me because anybody that knows me I have a reputation of two weeks I have a two week turnover retention rate when it comes to intern yeah I made, I made it to the first week I'm already through you made it through the first <laughs> week <I'm, laughs> he made it through the first week okay we're going to see how long it takes for so why do you why are you even have an interest in music like where did that come from um, it came from birth really uh, my mom you my came mother, out the yeah. singing yeah I was crying in melodic form and the doctor was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful, but he's crying. crying. He's wow, good. okay, so, that's, um, new. that's a new one. Um, my, a new mom, one. my mom sings, she sang in the church, my dad sings, he tries to sing. But, um, yeah. but um, I mean, I was a kid, I grew up with it, you know, Michael Jackson, that's one of my favorite artists ever, favorite artist ever, sorry. And um, I mean, it's just in me, like, I was just born to Do be around it. it, yeah. Okay, so what is it like, what, what is it like, like, on campus? and everything the college I'm experience because I know you're from Jersey so now you come down here to Atlanta and you know you decide um, you want to get into music so right. what, were you into music while you were <clears> in Jersey? Jersey uh, not as much because I was younger I, I moved down when I was 10 so uh, Jersey had a lot more a lot more white people so down here when I came down here I really that's I kind of broke out because all my friends are white up north so I oh, kind of okay. broke out of that of that you know met uh, all kinds of different black people but right. one thing I can say about down south is like they're very ex accepting to other other styles of music other cultures so I like oh, that Sub southern hospitality I really do I really oh. think so especially the, the schools that I went to so I mean that's my experience yeah. I can't speak for every 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 person from the north so right. I'm okay. speaking I'm speaking okay. for me. I mean because I would I would think that the north was more accommodating when it comes to music and everything down See, there. that's the thing. It's like, it's different for me because I was left when I was 10. So I can only speak for what I know down here. Okay, what you know from down here. Right. Okay, so what, what is it that you're looking forward to most about working with me? Like, why did you um, choose to work with me? Because there are a lot of other record labels. QED Records? Yeah. Okay, there are a lot of other record labels out there. Why did you choose, you know, QED? Yeah, um, I, honestly, uh, it's it's smaller than, than the majors. So mm -hmm. for one, I feel like it will be a, a lot more personal um, and a lot more hands-on. Uh, um, I, I want I want to learn how to plan, plan my own events. I want to learn how to fundraise. Mm -hmm. I you know I want to own my own business, so I fig I figured that let me let me you know yeah. come and come and apply. Um, and, right, and, see, and that's and one of the things that yeah. that's one of the things that so. we do with our program is that we do teach philanthropy. And entrepreneurship, yes, and <laughs> entrepreneurship in our program. And speaking of philanthropy, have you heard about uh, Eudoxy? I think that's mm -hmm. her name. It's French. I don't speak French, so for the sake of this video, we're gonna refer to you as Eudoxy. Well, people on Twitter and Instagram have been going crazy, and I really actually want to get your opinion on this. Being that you are of African descent. People are tripping, mainly the BAPs. And for those who don't know what BAPs stands for, Black American Princesses, they tripping because, <laughs> yes, they are tripping because she gave a bunch of white dolls to some African kids. Mm. And they are, like, livid, absolutely livid. Well, okay, I kind of have mixed things with it, uh, mixed feelings about it. Okay. For one, I feel, okay, I don't really know where her head was at, so, so maybe she was just trying to, it was a good gesture, mm -hmm. but when... I, have you heard of the um, the doll test? Yes, I heard okay, of the okay. doll test. So yeah, it's so all, all you kind you can you, you you can kind of um, uh, alter children's mindset with when when you give them white dolls because okay, white doll oh, is pretty, it's pretty, and when they see the black doll, they don't they're not really as motivated to play with it because it's not seen seen as beautiful or you know that that kind of thing. Um, and, and and I mean just looking at uh, I don't know, Oprah had that new um, series or the new document documentary out. Called dark dark girls, and they showed a a little one, a five year old five year old uh, black girl. They gave her a, a five different shades of, of black, well from light to black, and they um, Oprah asked her who was who she thought was the smart girl. She chose a white girl, and 
um, she asked who, who she thought was a stupid girl and she chose a black girl. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like we need to promote beauty in all colors, not just that. So that could, you know what I'm saying, that could could, could change change a, a child's mindset growing up. Mm -hmm. so. Well, what about the models that are chosen in the music video? Well, but yeah, you that, know what I'm saying? Because, so, I mean, because life But this is, is the kind of how, I mean, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I, me personally. Team dark skin. Like, <laughs> like, like, no, no matter what. Team dark skin. All right, no, I'm with Go you ahead. with that. I'm with you with team dark skin. Okay, Desmond, call me. Okay, Desmond True Fun. So, Holla. Who, All who, the True Fun. Who, who's Desmond? Holla. Holla. That, oh, that, that's my, yeah. my future husband. I, I'm not going to say baby daddy because I just refuse to be anybody's baby mama. So that is my future my, my future husband. She wants more than that. Yes, like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. The future father of my children. not a one-night stand. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. But um, going back to this whole doll test thing, now, so this was my whole take on the news when I heard it. was like, mm -hmm. okay, so she can't give white dolls to African kids, but it's okay for black men to call women, you know, B's and H's and hip hop, okay, she can't give, um, you know, African children white dolls, but yet nobody has signed my Iggy Azalea <laughs> petition, I'm like, what is up with y'all, you know what I mean, like, what's that petition about? I mean, well, okay, Iggy Azalea, in her video about her vagina. That's, that's the one that's, that's signed to T.I., right? Uh, Grand well, Hustle, she right? was signed to Grand Hustle, but now okay. she's with Def Jam. Okay, well. Wow. But in the Murder Business video and in the video about her J.J., she has underage black children in this video. White female rapper with underage black children in her video. Nobody's saying anything. I mean, these uh -huh. videos have gotten, like, millions and millions of views. So I didn't understand. I was just like, see, I, you know, that's my issue with our people. My biggest, biggest issue with our people. We always got one foot in and one foot out. Like, it's not okay for her to give, you know, white dolls to black children, but yet there hasn't been any change in hip-hop. I mean, it's like hip-hop in the 90s was all about black is beautiful, love the black woman, my queen, and now it's all about, you know what I'm saying, getting it on command. You know what I mean? It's not even anymore about how you look and, you know, just like the whole process that it takes for a man to try to get the draws. Now it's all about getting the draws. It's like, just give me the draws. Shut up and but give me the draws. I mean, that's how I feel. And uh, honestly... And that's why uh, I live in the country. All day. Country music. 94.9 The Bull. Because I want to hear something special and positive. Yeah. I don't want to hear get the draws there's, there's a lot of tear jerking songs too though. Yeah. I, I mean, I'd rather cry than, than hear about getting draws all day. Like, it's depressing. The music now is depressing, which is, again, why I decided to start a record label and to get into music because I'm hoping to, you know, I'm not, I'm the first one to say not censor artists. Like, for real, for real, don't censor artists, but I feel like at least if I can get some of these artists around me, perhaps I can inspire them. And that's, and once again, why we, you know, chose to do this program so that I can find other like-minded people that can also help me maybe inspire these artists because some of them sometimes that's the only experience that they have. They don't know what else to talk about because they don't know anything else. But if I could bring them around a, a woman that is about something else, maybe I can inspire them. I think I, what, what, what I really like about QEB is it's, it's all about education. It's educating, you know, in the, in the form of business, in the form of art. And that's why I really like it because, you know, Queen, she doesn't, she's uncensored, you know what I'm saying? So she keeps it, keeps it 300. So, 300. 300, you know what I'm saying? Like two chains. Well, yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're not going to talk about two chains, though, but, um, but definitely, definitely, I, I like what's going on. Um, I like the vision, you know, the big picture that you help and you help share. And you, you're really doing it to help, to help artists and help anybody who's trying to get in this um, entertainment industry because it's cutthroat and, yeah, that, and we yeah and and she gave me a, a glimpse of it i really wish we record, recorded the conversation on the phone call um, there was an <laughs> artist that we had spoke to or she was speaking with and the artist just it just seemed like she wasn't really serious about it mm -hmm. um, as many are i'm, I'm a child of oya so i'm all about destroying illusions okay so you're gonna come to qeb with all these, like, la, 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 I want to be Beyonce, and I want to be Lil Wayne, but you're not willing to put in the same kind of work that a Beyonce puts in and that a Lil Wayne puts in, that's not going to fly here. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's not going to fly here. But like you said, I do. I, I keep it all the way gravy with you. I'm going to tell you the truth. If it's garbage, I'm going to say it's garbage. If it's a hit, I'm going to say it's a hit. Yeah, so be ready for it. But you guys stay tuned because we are going to start recording some of them conversations because I feel like it's the best tool that I can offer you all for those that are not able that can't afford 
to do the boot camp with us, I'm definitely going to start recording those conversations so at least you can get something out of that. That's all the time we have. Be